The following interview is brought to you by local State Farm agent, Chris Bennett. Call Chris at 724-532-2100 or visit his website at www.chrisbeddick.com. A good neighbor with great auto rates. That's your local State Farm agent, Chris Bennett. Welcome back to the Wildcats Network, as I'm now joined by Ron Prady, ahead of the Wildcats' Week 6 game against the Kiski Area Cavaliers. Uh, and Coach, you guys ended up falling short against a good Woodland Hills team last week. Uh, how do you kind of take away the positives from a game in which it didn't look pretty at first, but you almost found a way to pull one out? Yeah, I mean, I think we did a lot of things well Friday and, and a lot of things that we could build on. One of those being, um, you know, we played a really explosive offense, and, and I thought for the most part we did a pretty good job of eliminating big plays. You know, they did hit two, you know, fairly long passes on us, one in the first half and one in the second half. But those guys do that to a lot of people. You know, especially number one. You know, he made some plays against us, but nothing real explosive. So we were fortunate in that area. And then another is, um, you know, we were able to move the ball consistently at times on the ground. And um, you know, so I mean, we're gonna we're gonna take the positives and and build on those this week, and uh, hopefully we'll play our best game tonight. And you guys were down 17 to three at about the halfway point of the third quarter. Uh, things were not going well for you guys, but. You had some big plays down the stretch in order to give you guys a 20 to 17 lead in the fourth quarter. What does it say about the effort and determination that the players put forth that gave them that sense of belief that they have the opportunity to go do it whenever things didn't look good? Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fight in our guys and, and um, we certainly didn't give up. Played really hard all game and, and sometimes a play can flip things in your favor. And I think the safety kind of, kind of uh, gave us some momentum and uh, we were able to hold on to it till about you know four minutes or so left in the game. You know, we answered after the after the safety with with a, a, a score and then uh, got a stop and got another score and we're fortunate to take the lead. Um, just their quarterback made some plays on that last drive and the you know, receivers did a good job. So you know credit to those guys. I think it's probably the most talented team in our section is um, Woodland Hills. So you know we're right there. We just got to make one or two more plays a game. And one thing that hampered you guys, in particularly in the first half, was the amount of penalties that you guys had. You cleaned it up in the second half a bit, but overall, what was it a combination of in the penalties, and what's the best way to maybe not get rid of them as much? I know you would like that, but maybe to limit them so that they aren't hampering you as much. Yeah, so we've tried to um, practice this week at the similar pace to what we play. Hopefully that's going to make a difference. Just kind of in our focus and our, our um, attention to detail in practice will lead to the same, you know, on Friday. So I think that's that was key for us. To, and sometimes you do things as a coach and you make some changes, hoping they work. Those are one of the things that we did this week, hoping that it works, and we'll find out tonight. And one area in particular that I thought you guys generated more of uh, in the game against Woodland Hills than you did in the past couple of weeks uh, was you generated momentum changing and splash plays, I thought. Uh, you mentioned how the safety got you guys a bunch of momentum to help build on that run in the third and fourth quarter. You guys got the fumble recovery by Brady Prohovic on the kickoff uh, right after you scored the 17-12 to touchdown. Uh, and then you got some consistently big gains from John on the ground. So overall, how important do you think those splash plays are, not only for the flow of the game, but also for what you guys do as a team? Well, certainly defensively, you're looking to, to not give up those. So obviously on offense, you want to get a few a game. We haven't been able to get many of those recently and um and we, we feel like we have some guys that are capable of doing that those are momentum changing plays too and and um excitement building plays so we're certainly interested in creating a few more of those every game it's just a matter of executing and and you know we got four more games to to figure that out and we want to be playing our best um, down the stretch here in these last four games and you guys face off against kiski area tonight uh, on homecoming night at memorial stadium what do you guys need to do in order to bounce back uh, and get back in the win column in Big East play? Well, I think it's be more disciplined, not commit some of the dumb penalties that we've had recently. Self-inflicted penalties, non-play penalties, pre-snap, those are the ones that are killer. And so we need to do that, and, and we need to continue to play good defense and control the clock. And they, they have an explosive offense over there, so we, we certainly want to keep the ball out of their hands. But hopefully we're able to do that. Coach, as always, thank you, and best of luck against the Cavaliers. Thanks, Rich.